A nearly century-old statue was knocked down in Petersburg last week, but the circumstances were different than what we've seen in Richmond over the past few months. In tonight's Wayne's World, senior reporter Wayne Colville tells us what caused it to fall and why the old soldier means so much to so many. Over there, over there, send the word, send the word over there. That the Yanks are coming, the Yanks are coming. It's very important that people don't forget these people. So prepared. A lot of times they're way overlooked. The 67 names are Petersburg surrounding area troops at Fort Lee uh, who died uh, during World War I. And we won't come back till it's over, over there. At the corner of North Boulevard and South Sycamore stands the old soldier, a doughboy from World War I. Dedicated back in 1928. A donation from American Legion Post 2 to the city of Petersburg, 10 years to the day the war to end all war ended. The doughboy statue itself, uh, it, it, it reflects so much history. Uh, one of the city of Petersburg, uh, two of just our, our veterans as a whole. One of those veterans, David L. Jones, is Weinkoff's grandfather. Spent many a weekend with him. Uh, he was very proud of his military service. Jones served with the Richmond Howitzers in the Signal Corps during the Great War. For those that didn't return and the veterans who did, there are more than 150 Spirit of the American Doughboy statues across the country in their honor. We should never forget their sacrifices and the gift that they gave us uh, through the perils that they lived through, the sacrifices, the, the, the pain, the misery. A lot of that can be taken for granted, uh, especially in 2020. The sheep bronze statue has stood on this spot for 92 years. He had been up a little bit, but for the most part he's all right. But recently was toppled by a hit and run driver. The city of Petersburg put it back up quick. Now Post 2 members would like to see some preventative measures to protect their donation. See if we can get some type of barrier put back up to keep this from happening again. I would love to see it better protected. I think those service members deserve it, and I think the city of Petersburg deserves that. For members opposed to the oldest active American Legion post in Virginia, the doughboy they hope is a reminder for those who pass to remember all veterans. A lot of times they're way overlooked, and, you know, it, that should not be. And we won't come back till it's over, over there. Petersburg police are still looking for the driver of that Cadillac Escalade that ran into and toppled the Doughboy. They ask if you have any information to call Crime Solvers at 861-1212. For the members of Post 2, all they ask is lest we forget. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Koval, CBS 6 News.